Hi everyone. Well, I was contemplating what to paint for my last flower watercolor in California and I found these gorgeous Veronica flowers. So elegant, simple, and yet complicated all at the same time. So we're only gonna use three colors. We're gonna use a little bit of yellow and then purple and a hooker's green, medium hue. Grab a six by eight piece of watercolor and create this really, really fun and elegant summer floral with me. I really loved creating this one. It was only takes me about 15 minutes. You're gonna hear like the movers literally pulling up as I was working on this. Uh, but it was such a joy to create this one and then wait till the end because I add in some very fun detail, which I think you'll really enjoy. Hey everyone, well, we have um, a new summer painting um, a Veronica is what we're painting today, the Veronica flower. So I have my watercolor paper, this great six by eight pad that I have from a Master Touch over from Hobby Lobby. And this is mostly gonna be green and purple. And I just love these flowers as I was showing in the intro video. There's so much just gorgeous green going on. Um, this, I love the name Veronica. It's such an elegant name, right? So I am just gonna go ahead and start painting some of the leaves. The leaves are just a dark green. I will maybe, I'm probably gonna add in some yellow. I'm also gonna add in my leaves that are hanging over the sides of my um, vase here. I don't have the whole vase, I just did a partial vase today because of the size of the paper and I just really wanted to show off how pretty these flowers are. Now these flowers, their, their beautiful leaves have really nice details on them. I'm not sure how much of the detail I'll get on there. I'll probably come back with a little bit of pen work and add in some detail. Um, by the time this is going live, I will be on the road moving to New York and driving across the country. And so I am finishing up and um, I have to say, I was, it's just been a bit chaotic. I thought I was fine and then, you know, lots of things. It's just moving is always a lot. But um, I wanted a few minutes before the movers came this morning and started taking the furniture away to come and just paint. I was on my table this morning where I look, where I pray and read the Bible every morning and look at the sunrise. And it's been my place for the last, I think, about four years now. And it was so odd, you know, the end of things, right? To go into new beginnings, we have to have endings, but it is just such an odd feeling. There is so much gratitude, really, as I reflected on the past couple of years and um, listened to the birds. I'm going to add a little bit of yellow and just thought about the many good things that have happened, the many hard things, the tears that I have cried over that table the ideas, many for the Psalm 23 course and then for the upcoming Psalm um, 143 course have been birthed, you know, on that beautiful table. So many tables have such a powerful place in our lives. I don't know about you if you have like a favorite table, but this table that I'm on is my art table. I've had so many creations and um, I'm gonna come in a little bit closer. Done so much work and play I pulled out this table to use at painting parties. Okay, that looks good. You see where I add the yellow just a little bit, adding in some light as well. We've gotten some leaves up here too. I noticed with the Veronica, the leaf, it's very leafy, which I kind of love. I love, I love a leafy flower. It just adds to the personality. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit. Let's grab some more green. I am using the hooker's green and then I'm gonna keep talking about tables. I was just thinking about that because as I was thinking about you know these tables, I'm actually, they're not coming with me. So much of my furniture has been like Ikea. And if you've worked with Ikea furniture, you know it's fabulous. It's fabulous for stain put. And you can move it around wherever you're living. But as far as moving with it, it just doesn't quite stand up. <laughs> I've tried it before and it just, it didn't go well. So I thought, you know what, we're not gonna. We're not gonna repeat this. But these tables have been surprisingly memorable for me. I think because so much work has been done and gathering has been done and for such multi-use that I've used them for many, many things. But this one I'm particularly painting on right now has been the table that I have 
painted and played on and really executed a lot of the ideas, ideas that I've had on my black table in my room, which is the one where I do more the praying, the starting my morning, um, spending Sunday afternoons there many a time when I've had a quiet Sunday afternoon or evening, I write my letters on that table. And I didn't realize until I was getting ready to have the movers come and take it that um, how much it meant to me. So I'm going to use some purple, by the way. I'm just going to use dioxazine purple. And we're going to let that add that in. We're going to just spend a few minutes here. And then, you know, I will come back and do a little bit of detail work. But now as I come back, I'm actually going to add some green. And I actually think I might hear the movers. I literally was like, can I just get a few minutes to paint this morning? Just one more painting on the paint table. I've got my eye on the phone as I paint. As we continue moving down here, isn't that beautiful? And I love this because the Veronica flower, it is almost like there's a bunch of little flowers on the stem. And they are so graceful. It's like it's dancing. I've had it. I bought these last night. I was looking for some hydrangeas and they didn't have the hydrangeas, but I, my eye caught these and I kept walking around and around and they just kind of seemed to be calling my name. Maybe it's the way that they just were peacefully swaying and then I put them in water last night and as evening came, I noticed that they just kind of bended. It was so interesting. It was like they were dancing as the sun went down. And this morning they're dancing in new ways. And I just thought, you know, this maybe is what I need that reminder right now of just going with the flow, you know, just continuing to move forward to dancing with whatever activity is next on the calendar and not being too, not being anxious about anything that doesn't do any good anyways. Okay. Just coming out a few more things here. Moving this around. And I'm kind of looking at where it's a little bit more intense. I'm gonna come back here. Remember with watercolor, it always dries lighter than you think. There we go. And so coming up, getting that little tip, which is actually a little bit on the green side. So I'm gonna pull my green in after I do just a bit more purple, I might come back and do some splattering as well. And then up here, just the green tips, and I'm almost gonna dot them on. And then a little bit in the middle, cause you can see the green actually all the way through. And the green and the purple actually go together very nice. So green tip here just like that oh that looks really nice okay i think i should do a purple vase what do you think a little bit in here and i think i am going to do some purple splatters too all right so just to keep the sake of the green and the purple i'm just going to create a real lovely vase and I am going to fill in some more greenery up in here. But I'm just going to lay down some purple, not even the needing to like cover everything up. A little bit darker where this stem is, right? There we go. That's looking nice. Darker here. Let's add in some more green. over here because it is nice and thick in here. So we'll go ahead and add in some green leaves down here. I'm gonna probably add in some purple to the green just to give it some depth. And a little bit darker. A leaf right over here, a stem, a beautiful leaf there. And then what I'm going to do too, add a little bit more water here, and then we'll just add in some purple here too. So, so beautiful. 
Okay, I'm going to take a little bit of purple, just a little bit. I'm just going to touch it into some of these leaves, some of the stems here. Not a lot, but just a little. I'll need to come back a little bit, I think, too, with my flowers and add a little bit more detail there. I'm going to actually come out over here and see how far they're sticking out in those individual leaves. It's just keeping track of that. There we go. Because the green kind of stuck out a little bit more than I wanted it to. There we go. Be careful where your hand sits as you keep painting. Sometimes I'll set it down on the vase and then the vase smears, which we don't want. And you know, I noticed that the Veronica, they have like, um, did you see in the video where the little, they add almost like little extra little blossoms, petals that were almost like little dots. So we will do just a little bit of splattering and then I'll let it dry. Okay, so like even really, I'm just going to let it dry and I'm using a number two brush for this whole thing today. Okay, that looks really, really fun. Okay, I'm loving this. It's a little bit messy. I definitely think I'm going to turn this into a journal page and just write my thoughts. This is my final painting in this home. And so, um, definitely have lots of things going on in my heart today. I'll just jot them down on the back of this and then tuck it into my journal. I do love that about this size paper is that it's perfect to stick into journals, right? Okay, a little bit of splatters here and I know I've got to go. I'm so thankful for the extra minutes that the movers took in getting here. Sometimes it's a grace when people are not quite on time, right? It's such a grace. I was hoping they would be. They gave me a range and I thought, oh, be on the, the later, the later end. The furniture's just getting moved a few miles away. So it'll, that'll part, this is gonna be easy this morning. Okay, you guys. Oh, I'm just loving this. I just wanna linger here. I'm gonna see you next week. Enjoy your beautiful week. Enjoy the Veronica's. If you see some at the store, do pick them up. They are just a lovely flower to have on your summer table. I'll see you guys very, very soon. Hey everyone, well I wanted to come back really quick and show you how I'm gonna clean this up a bit. Um, as you can see, things got a little bit blurry. I was painting quickly. So I'm gonna come back in with my Micron pen and this is just a fun way if you as well have paintings that you think that just turned out a bit messier. I wanna clean it up a bit. What I'm gonna come back and do is I, first of all, I come back with the pen I emphasize where I want to create some lines and some of the, the boundaries. Also where I want to create some um, of the details. And I may just take with the line with the flowers and just add in some of those petals. And I remember I said there was almost like little dots on some of them as little, just little, I don't know if it's pollen, I don't know what it is, but really cute extensions of the petals. So I'm going to come back in here on these beautiful, elegant Veronica, this Veronica flower, and add in again some details, just creating a little bit of distinguishing features where there was a little bit of just like a merge, right? It just felt like all the paint merged together. I'm currently just finishing up, um, getting the last things. Gonna pa pack the car here in a little bit, but wanted to finish this last painting. I know it's it's always fun to start things, but I've really tried to be better at finishing things as well and not letting projects go undone. I'm gonna come in a little closer, and so it's um, it's always interesting with the move because not everything gets done, <laughs> and so I have to be okay with letting things go. Right? I'm just gonna add a few some movement over here, some of my stems that I wanted just to be a little bit more distinguished. This plant hanging over, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some darker color too where my, the pot is hanging out. Some of the brushwork there, very good. So now that I have that, 
done just a little bit. You notice I'm not doing tons of detail here. I want to keep it light and loose. This looks good. And then I'm going to come back and just with a little bit of paint, I'm going to add in, add in some more detail here. I'm going to add in some more color, just a little bit, not a lot, but just to add some detail and to clean up where I feel like it's a bit messy. So I'm going to start too with getting some green. Remember, we just used the green and the purple to create the shadow areas, and that was really, really nice. So with the green too, I'm actually going to come back in here where I want it a little bit more green, a little bit darker over here, just where I know that shadow is going to be hitting a bit. I like where the yellow's popping out. I think that looks really, really nice. Let me back up, making sure you can see all this. Oh yeah, you can. Good, good, good. The morning light is really nice. It's a bit overcast this morning, so I don't have any, a lot of glare from the bright sun. It's quite quiet out. The birds were noisy earlier, but they've quieted down. Maybe they're having breakfast. Over here, again, just adding those details. The details I find is really what makes the whole project sing so many times. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna dip into my purple now. I have the dioxazine purple. I'm gonna come back over here in this area and adding in, oh, that's probably the garbage truck, sorry. It's gonna get loud here, you might hear that. As I just was saying, how quiet it was this morning, right? So I'm just gonna add in a little bit of color right over here with my purple and really focusing on adding in those distinguishing features. Just like that. Mm. Just like that, okay. Beautiful, again, not doing tons here. It's just a little bit. It's just really those little bit of details. And I love how they all look like they're dancing. I'm gonna add a little bit of purple to the green. And I'm just, I wanna create a little bit, a little bit of some shadowing in a couple of the areas. Not too much, just where it's darker. Over on this guy, in the center here, okay. Again, this is not making a massive amount of difference overall, but I think sometimes the details help the whole thing come together where it did look a little bit unfinished and now it looks complete. Again, just using the end of my brush, a couple of splatters up here, not a lot, just a few. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some purple and some splatters down here. And I'm actually gonna pick up a little bit of yellow too because I did have, we had some yellow so I'm gonna pick up the yellow and I'm gonna pull those. I would actually bring the yellow just up at the top to pull the eyes up towards a little bit of the light. And I'm gonna grab the yellow and then also dip it into some of these leaves that are more exposed to the sunlight. And then I can come back in with a little bit of green if that looks like too much to you and just dab it in. But see how the whole thing begins to come together, right? Okay lovely beautiful okay we just took about six minutes to finish that up I'm gonna back up at the whole thing I really think it does look complete now okay our beautiful Veronica I'll see you guys next week